I Want Answers is made possible by... After finishing high school, I immediately got married and started my family. Without a college degree, I found that pretty quickly my options were limited. When I started looking around for a college program for working adults, I quickly found that Rogers State was a great fit. They worked with me to get financial aid, offered classes that fit my busy schedule, and gave me personalized attention that I couldn't get at a larger school. Rogers State definitely started me on my professional career. And by The Grand River Dam Authority is Oklahoma's state-owned electric utility, fully funded by revenues from electric and water sales instead of taxes. GRDA's low-cost, reliable power touches 75 of 77 counties in Oklahoma. At no cost to taxpayers, GRDA also manages 70,000 surface acres of lakes in the state, including Grand Lake, Lake Hudson, and the W.R. Hallway Reservoir. Today, GRDA's 500-member workforce continues to produce the same power for progress that has benefited the state for over 75 years. And by... At OU, you become... A free thinker. A trailblazer. A teammate. You become relentless. Artistic. Passionate. Innovative. OU's number one in the nation in the number of National Merit Scholars enrolled at a public university and is the leading institution for academic excellence and value. This is OU. 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 The University of Oklahoma. And by... We face the day with purpose. We speak truthfully, if we need to speak at all. Promises are what we keep. Anger is what we don't. Whatever must be done, we do it. Until it's done. Until it's right. We show respect and work to earn it. We live this code. We are this code. We are cowboys. Are you a cowboy? And bye. The Gerald H. Westby Jr. Foundation is a proud sponsor of I Want Answers on RSU Public TV. Throughout his life, Gerald Westby worked hard to add to the quality of life through his legacy of support for the arts, arts education, and culture. The Gerald H. Westby Jr. Foundation continues this work. The Riverfield Ravens and the Berry Hill Chiefs return for the semifinals here on I Want Answers. Hello everyone and welcome to Oklahoma's favorite academic game show, I Want Answers. I'm your shorter hair host, Jeff Gaffin. We're down to our final competitions as today we wrap up the semifinal round. Today's winner will advance to the final competition and each player will be guaranteed at least one of our scholarship prizes. Will it be the Riverfield Ravens who have defeated both the Hilldale Hornets and the Inola Longhorns? Or will it be the Berry Hill Chiefs who defeated the Locust Grove Pirates and the Will Rogers Ropers? Well, we're going to find out, but first, let's catch up with each of these winners. And we get our third opportunity to meet up with the Berry Hill Chiefs. How you doing, Chiefs? Doing good. good. Happy to be here? It's the yes. semifinals. Are we excited? Yes, very excited. I'm excited for you. Glad you made it back. So, please reintroduce yourselves, your name, your grade. Please tell us your future after high school plans, dream job, anything important you want to tell us. All right, my name is Garrett Weiss in uh, Berry Hill High School. I'm a junior there. And uh, after high school, I'm not 100% sure on what I'm going to do. Hopefully go into some kind of medical field and uh, try to get some big bucks. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> Hi, I'm Morgan uh, Berry Hill, 11th grade. After high school, I want to go to OU and major in library sciences. I'm Connor Pearson. I'm from Berry Hill, and I'm a junior. And after high school, I'm debating about going to OU to be a meteorologist. Very nice. Good. I'm Cole Bewley. I'm as well a junior at Berry Hill, believe it or not. Amazing. <laughs> um, wow. And uh, I'm considering becoming a television producer. Oh. He's on TV, by the way. Right now. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Good. <laughs> All right. Now. All right. So anything else? She has laryngitis. Yeah. You want to tell us more about that? I sound terrible. 
the I've heard I've heard worse. Oh, Not bad for laryngitis. It's been worse. Okay. Well, we're glad it's okay enough for the show. Just speaking of the mic. Uh, okay. <laughs> the Berry Hill Chiefs. And now we get our third opportunity to meet up again with the Riverfield Ravens. How you doing, Ravens? Good. Back for some finals. Are you excited? Yes. yes. Kind of a repeat from last year, though only one of you was part of this from last year, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is good. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Chance to go into finals. This is a good thing. Yes. Please reintroduce yourselves, your name, your grade, uh, future uh, college and future career choices, dream jobs, anything like that. I'm doing my dream, dream job right now. I'm Zach Davenport. I'm a junior at Riverfield, and as for um, studies after college, I'm looking into architecture or engineering. I'm Alora Wymore. I'm also a junior at Riverfield, and I want to be an equine vet and go to OSU. I'm Bailey Gower. I'm in 11th grade at Riverfield, and I'm thinking about some sort of engineering. Some sort. My name's <laughs> Ethan Landis. I'm an 11th grader at Riverfield, and I want to be an engineer, but I also want to be happy. Well, that's important. We all want to be happy. Yes. So you'll be happy being an engineer. Yes. And an equine doctor. Yes. Vet. Engin engineer. Some sort, some sort. And architect. Or architect. Engineer. Right. Are we happy? We're happy. Are we yeah. happy? We are. Yeah. We're excited for you. The Riverfield Ravens. Thank you, Ravens and Chiefs. So, are you ready to play Berry Hill? Yeah. yeah. Semifinals. Are you ready to play? Yes. Riverfield. Are you ready to play? Yes. Very good. Audience, are you ready to play? What? what woo! I, what they said. Well, very good. Well, if I'm going to give you what you want, you have to give me what I want. And you know what I want. Answers. answers. No, it's I want answers. Say it. I want answers. No, no, I want answers. You can't say my line. Thank you, exactly. <laughs> it's, this is TV. We begin our competition with the speed round. Teams, you know the rules. These are individual answer questions, and there is no conferring in this round. Are you ready to play? Yes! yes. Are you ready for speed? Yes. Here's your first question. Which amendment to the U.S. Constitution guarantees the right to bear arms? Mm, yes, Riverfield. The Second Amendment. Second Amendment is correct. What is an amphoteric compound? Yes, Berry Hill. Chemical and cheese. Incorrect. Riverfield, you get a chance. Time on that. It is something that can be both an acid and a base. Yes. Consider the tragedy of Macbeth. After the death of Duncan, his two sons flee to Ireland and England, respectively. Name either one of them. Yes, Berry Hill. Warple. Incorrect. Riverfield. You get your shot. Yes. John. No, not John. It's either Donald Bain or Malcolm. So close. Of course. What N word, popularized, popularized by Vladimir Nabokov, refers to immature insects that do not have a pupil stage? Yes, Riverfield. Nymph. Nymph is correct. The cities are Palermo, Syracuse, and Messina. What is the island? Yes, Riverfield. New York. Uh. <laughs> Not New York. <laughs> Berry Hill, you get your shot. Yes, go ahead. Long Island. No, it is Sicily. Not that Syracuse. Okay. <laughs> Many kings named Louis have ruled France. Which one reigned longer than any other monarch in European history? From, yes, Berry Hill. 14th. That is correct. Louis the 14th. According to the song, where do the deer and the antelope play? Yes, Berry Hill. The home on the range. On the range is correct. Which range in Central Asia contains the world's second highest peak? Yes, Berry Hill. The Himalayas? Incorrect. Riverfield. Time on that. That'd be Karakoram, and its peak is actually called K2. Okay. Name the three main languages spoken by the citizens of Switzerland. Yes, Riverfield. German, Dutch, and French. Incorrect. Berry Hill. Yes. German, Dutch, and English. Incorrect. German, French, and Italian. 
I'm surprised you didn't say Swiss. Amazing. <laughs> Back to speed. What are studied in a, quote, cloud chamber? Is it clouds, raindrops, or subatomic particles? Yes, Barry Hill. Subatomic particles. That is correct. Math question. Remember, you get extra time for this. What will be the price of a $200 chainsaw after three successive discounts of 10%? Yes, Barry Hill. $140. Incorrect. Riverfield, you still have some time. Yes. $144.80. Close. $145.80. So close. That's all right. <laughs> Most restaurants prefer to call the Patagonian toothfish the Chilean what? Yes, Barry Hill. Swimmer. Incorrect. Riverfield. Yes. Bass. More specific. The Chilean largemouth bass. Incorrect. The sea bass. Sea bass. Close. Very close. And now we have our first video question for the match. This question is from the Dean of the Honors College at Oklahoma State University, Dr. Keith Garbutt. Name the famous 19th century scientist who was known as Darwin's Bulldog and whose grandchildren included several famous scientists, one of whom won the Nobel Prize for Physiology and one who was the author of a famous dystopian novel. I heard buzzer. That'd be Riverfield. Go ahead. Um, Smith. Incorrect. Barry Hill. Yes, go ahead. Orwell. Incorrect. Thomas Huxley. Thomas Huxley. You didn't know that? <laughs> what legislation was the result of the 1981 attempted assassination of Ronald Reagan? Yes, Barry Hill. The 25th Amendment. Incorrect. Riverfield. Time on that. That'd be the Brady Bill. The Brady Bill. Ooh, and that double bell means that the first speed round is up. Score stands at this point. Barry Hill Chiefs with 30 points. Riverfield Ravens with 20 points. Very tight match. A little low scoring, but that's okay. And now it's time for round two, the advantage round. And in this round, you must correctly answer a speed question in order to gain the opportunity to answer the three advantage questions. Don't forget, the advantage questions must come from your team captain. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Ready for advantage? Yes. Here's your speed question for that. What mythical monster was fed on a high-protein diet of seven maidens at... Yes, Barry Hill. Minotaur. Minotaur is correct, an advantage to you guys. Your category, Barry Hill, is to complete these titles with the preposition of in them. With the I'm sorry, the preposition of in them. The preposition of in them. Okay? Okay. Number one, the legend of... Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy Hollow. Correct. The snows of Kilimanjaro. Correct. The vicar of Dubly. Incorrect. That'd be Wakefield. That's all right. Back to speed. Brooklyn Nets basketball player Andre Kirilenko is taking Americana home to his native Russia. He's opening several franchises of what restaurant franchise that features scantily clad waitresses serving food and drink? Yes, Riverfield. Hooters. Hooters is correct. What can you do? <laughs> Advantage to you guys, Riverfield. Your category is sports. What? Okay. Number one. What is the first prize in modern Olympic competition? Gold medal. Correct. Name the first country to host the Summer Olympics. Um, Athens. Country. Greece. Oh, Greece. But you said Athens yeah. first. I can't oh, count okay. that. Name the first heavyweight boxing champion. Ollie. <laughs> uh, incorrect. John L. Sullivan. All right, back to speed, looking for a new advantage. Two answers are required here. Quote, soldiers, 40 centuries gaze down upon you, end quote. That was declared by what Frenchman in what country in 1799? Yes, Barry Hill. Napoleon Bonaparte in Russia. 
half rights, but still wrong. Riverfield. Yes. Napoleon Bonaparte in France. Incorrect. Napoleon in Egypt. Oh. Oh. <laughs> still looking for an advantage. What substance is produced in the liver and stored in the bladder? Yes, Barry Hill. Bile. Bo I'm sorry? Bile. Bile is correct. Advantage back to you guys. Your category is a multiple choice vocabulary test. Ooh. Okay. Yay. <laughs> Number one. Does astringent mean contracting, relaxing, disagreeable, or liquefied? Disagreeable. Disagreeable. Incorrect. It's contracting. Number two. Does blandishment mean whiteness, eloquence, cajolery, or chastisement? Eloquence. Whiteness. Incorrect. It's cajolery. Number three. Does bombastic mean destructive, pompous, profitable, or winning? Pompous. Pompous is correct. As far back as January 5th, 1914, this American manufacturer established a $5 a day minimum wage. Yes, Barry Hill. Ford Motor Company. The person. The person. Ford. Henry Ford. Henry Ford. There you go. That's all right. We got it. Advantage back to you guys. Category is mythology. I'll name some Greek deities and you tell me their Roman counterparts. Number one, Hermes. Mercury. Correct. Ares. Mars. Correct. Hephaestus. Vulcan. Vulcan is correct. Okay. Math question. Find the area in square units of the trapezoid ABCD with these vertices. A is at 0, 0. B is at 0, 5. C at 711, D at 70. Yes, Riverfield. 40 square units. Incorrect. Barry Hill. Yes, go ahead. 42 square units. Incorrect, it'd be 56 square units. That's all right. A gigantic chryselephantine statue of Athena stood in the Parthenon. Of what two substances was this celebrated statue made? Yes, Barry Hill. Marble and limestone. Incorrect, Riverfield. Good choices though. Yes, go ahead. Limestone and granite. Incorrect, it'd be gold and ivory. Gold and ivory, okay. How many edges does a cube have? Yes, Barry Hill. 12. 12 is correct, advantage back to you. Your category is languages. Most Western languages have as their main greeting a phrase which translates as good day. Give this phrase in each of the following languages. Number one, French. Bonjour. Bonjour. Correct, Spanish. Hola. Hola. Incorrect. Buenos dias. Three. German. Gemacht. <laughs> I like the ch in there. No, it's guten tag. Incorrect. Oh, oh, Sorry. <laughs> All right. NASA saluted him with the Distinguished Public Service Medal, the space agency's highest award for civilians. Name the civilian who played Captain Kirk on the original. Yes, Barry Hill. Shatner. Full name? William Shatner. There you go, William Shatner. Advantage back to Berry Hill. Category is World War II. Who was Haile Selassie? A plane. Incorrect, the emperor of Ethiopia. Number two, who was the head of the resistance movement in Yugoslavia during World War II? That's a good question. Joch. No, it would be Tito. Oh. There you go. Number three. Who has chosen Supreme Allied Commander of the Allied Troops at Tehran in 1943? Patton. Incorrect. Eisenhower. That's all right. Mmm, that double bell means the advantage round is over. Score stands Barry Hill Chiefs with 65 points, Riverfield with 25 points. And now we head into the whirlwind round. The trailing team has the opportunity to pick from one to three categories first. And as a bonus, they get to choose whether they wish to answer the category's questions themselves or give it to the other team. We call this whirlwind because you only get 60 seconds to answer. If your team correctly answers all 10 of your questions within a minute, you'll receive 10 bonus points. All right, Riverfield, you're trailing at this point. 
Your categories to choose from are, sorry, con, geometry, or it's about time. Do you want to pick for yourselves or for uh, Barry Hill? About time seems kind of interesting. Yeah, we try that? yeah. we'll pick for ourselves. We'll pick for ourselves. Okay. Uh, it's about time. It's about time. Got it. Remember, your 60 seconds begin after I read the first question. Okay, are you ready for Warwind? Yes. All right. Number one, who founded Time Magazine? Time. Incorrect. What was H.G. Wells' first novel? Time traveling. Incorrect. Name Manhattan's controversial catch-all on the corners of Broadway and 42nd Street. Times Square. Time Square. Correct. What were U.S. militiamen called during the Revolutionary Minute War? Men. Correct. In 1776, Patriot Thomas Paine wrote in Common Sense oh. that these are the times that... Try men's hearts. Incorrect. What ordinary objects are usually never installed in gambling casinos? Clocks. Correct. Payment of a worker for overtime at one and a half times his regular wage rate. Yeah, overtime. overtime. Incorrect. A container holding historical records or objects represents... Time capsule. Correct. A schedule showing departure and arrival times of trains, planes, or buses. Mm, time up on that. That'd be timetable. Timetable. Okay. Good job. Barry Hill, your chance to handle whirlwind round. Are you choosing geometry, con, or nations? What would you like? Con. 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 <laughs> You pick Shatner, so might as well pick Khan. Actually, it's C-O-N, Khan. Oh, so. <laughs> That's all right. In each sentence, substitute two-syllable synonymous verbs beginning with Khan, C-O-N. All right. Okay. Two syllables. Two syllables. Two syllables. Number one, I yield the point to you. Concede. Correct. I agree with your opinion. Concur. Concur. Correct. I must talk it over with my colleagues. Console. Incorrect. We must challenge him personally with the charge. Uh, no. Conscien. Incorrect. I don't like the crowd you go around with. Consul. Incorrect. He dared to plot against the state. Conspire. Conspire. Correct. All the routes come together at this point. Converge. Converge. Correct. We must change our holdings into cash. Convert. Convert. Correct. You will never incriminate him on this evidence. Convict. Correct. We are all overcome with laughter. Congelial. Incorrect. And that's the last one. It was convulsed on that. Well played on the whirlwind round, Barry Hill. All right. We're recalculating. Barry Hill Chiefs with 125 points. Riverfield Ravens with 65 points. All right. Back to speed. Let's finish up this semifinal round. Yes? Yeah. I want answers. Here we go. The first liquid fuel rocket demonstration was made at Auburn, Massachusetts in 1926. Name the scientist credited with this invention. Yes, Barry Hill. Oppenheimer. Incorrect. Ruhr Field. No thought. Yes. Good. Hubble. No, it would be Robert Goddard. Goddard. Okay. And now our second video question, and this question is from the executive director of the Will Rogers Memorial, Mr. Tad Jones. Trucks and donkeys loaded with ballot boxes made their way to counting centers as what nation and the international community gave a sigh of relief that national elections were held without major violence despite a Taliban threat? All right, yes, Riverfield. Afghanistan? Afghanistan is correct. Math question. Six women participate in an Olympic race, and the top three take gold, silver, and bronze medals. How many combinations of gold, silver, and bronze are possible? Yes, Barry Hill. 120? 120 is correct. In, architect, in architecture, excuse me, what do you call the central wedge-shaped stone of an arch that locks the... Yes, Riverfield. Keystone. Keystone is correct. Peter Paul Rubens and Anthony Van Dyke helped make what city the center of the Flemish School of Painting? Yes, Barry Hill. Versailles. 
Incorrect, Ruefield. Yes. Florence. Incorrect, Antwerp. Antwerp, Flemish. Right, <laughs> it's okay. What is the name given to bituminous coal from which the volatile constituents have been drawn off by intense heat? It's almost pure carbon and burns with very little ash. Yes, Berry Hill. Charcoal. Incorrect, Ruefield. It would also be a soft drink, Coke. Coke. <laughs> the opera L'Assassinino Nella Cattedrale is based on the T.S. Eliot play known in English by what title? Time up on that. Myrtle, murder in the Cathedral. The governments of the United States and what Asian country have come up with a new defense agreement that opens the door for the first large-scale return of American military forces to the island nation since their eviction in the early... Yes, Barry Hill. British. British. Incorrect. The early 1990s. Yes, Ruefield. Japan. Incorrect. The Philippines. Philippines. According to Sir Thomas Mallory in Le Morte de Arthur, what is the, quote, lusty month? Yes, Barry Hill. February. Incorrect, Ruefield. Yes, go ahead. December. Incorrect, it would be May, at least according to him. <laughs> Math question. Find the area of a rectangular floor which is 12 feet wide and 15 feet long, but give the answer in square inches. Yes, Barry Hill. 2,160 inches. Incorrect. Ruefield. Yes, go ahead. 1,500 inches. Incorrect. 25,920 square inches. It's a bigger factor. The doctrine of manifest destiny was most closely associated with which of the following wars involving the United States? Was it the Civil War, War of 1812, World War I, World War II, or the Spanish-American War? Barry Hill. Spanish American War. That is correct. The Malaysian Airlines jet that disappeared over the South China Sea left from what city? Yes, Barry Hill. Sydney. Incorrect. Riverfield. Time on that. Kuala Lumpur. What two-syllable Arabic word for row names each of the 114 sections in the Quran? Yes, Barry Hill. Tarmac. Incorrect. Ruefield. Time on that. The surah. Surah. The nerve endings for sight are located in what part of the eye? Yes, Barry Hill. The retina. Retina is correct. The width of a football field is 160 feet, or how many yards? I'm going to go and give because it was a math question. Yes, Riverfield. 60 yards. Incorrect. Barry Hill, so good chance. Yes, go ahead. 53 and one-third yards? Yes, 53 and one-third yards is correct. And that final bell means that our competition of the semifinals is concluded. Final score, the Berry Hill Chiefs with 155 points. Riverfield Ravens with 95 points. Well played both teams. But congratulations to the Berry Hill Chiefs who will advance and be playing the Adair Warriors in the final competition. But we want to take this opportunity to thank the Riverfield Ravens who worked extremely hard and did a fantastic job this season here on I Want Answers. Well, join us next week for the match that we've all been waiting for, the final competition for the Grand Scholarship Prize and the bragging rights to be Season 4 I Want Answers Champion. It'll be a great match that you won't want to miss. Thank you teams for playing. Thank you audience for playing along as we continue to explore the knowledge of our local Green Country High School academic teams. If you knew some of the answers, thank a teacher. But if you know freedom, thank a soldier. Until next time, this is your host, Jeff Gaffin, reminding you that asking questions is only half the battle. The other half is wanting answers. 
We'll see you back here next week for the championship match of season four of I Want Answers. So long, everyone. I Want Answers is made possible by... After finishing high school, I immediately got married and started my family. Without a college degree, I found that pretty quickly my options were limited. When I started looking around for a college program for working adults, I quickly found that Rogers State was a great fit. They worked with me to get financial aid, offered classes that fit my busy schedule, and gave me personalized attention that I couldn't get at a larger school. Rogers State definitely started me on my professional career. Bye. The Grand River Dam Authority is Oklahoma's state-owned electric utility, fully funded by revenues from electric and water sales instead of taxes. GRDA's low-cost, reliable power touches 75 of 77 counties in Oklahoma. At no cost to taxpayers, GRDA also manages 70,000 surface acres of lakes in the state, including Grand Lake, Lake Hudson, and W.R. Hallway Reservoir. Today, GRDA's 500-member workforce continues to produce the same power for progress that has benefited the state for over 75 years. And by... At OU, you become... A free thinker. A trailblazer. A teammate. You become relentless. Artistic. Passionate. Innovative. OU's number one in the nation in the number of National Merit Scholars enrolled at a public university and is a leading institution for academic excellence and value. This is OU. 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 The University of Oklahoma. And by... We face the day with purpose. We speak truthfully, if we need to speak at all. Promises are what we keep. Anger is what we don't. Whatever must be done, we do it. Until it's done. Until it's right. We show respect and work to earn it. We live this code. We are this code. We are cowboys. Are you a cowboy? And bye. The Gerald H. Westby Jr. Foundation is a proud sponsor of I Want Answers on RSU Public TV. Throughout his life, Gerald Westby worked hard to add to the quality of life through his legacy of support for the arts, arts education, and culture. The Gerald H. Westby Jr. Foundation continues this work.